Hang Seng Tech rose about 2.8% as of the recording right now. Any reason for price to move that? Reuters in this headline says that there are some buying interest amid previous decline. Why is that so? Technically, are we seeing something? My students said that Hang Seng Tech is perpetually in ICU, intensive care unit. Question it's technically, are we seeing some reversal? Well, I posted Hang Seng Tech uh, chart yesterday to the Telegram group and then today it rose by 2.8%. If you want to get earlier insight, remember to scan this QR code where you can get into my Telegram channel. Three things to take note about Hang Seng Tech technically. One was that between 2021 to the drop in 2022, mid of 2022, the drop was in a pretty bad shape. It was steep, right? You can see it from the lines, you can see from the arrows that have drawn in. But starting from mid 2022 until now, the drop is a little bit more gentle. That means that it's moving down at a slower pace. That's the first thing to take note. Now, second thing is that if you see the equidistance channel that I've drawn in here, so this is the equidistance channel priced move from the top of the channel and is right now near to the bottom of the channel and how do i construct this channel basically i took the two highs connect that and then draw a parallel lines based on the recent low that's between the two highs to derive this particular point and that was the reason why i think that yesterday hang Seng tech was about to rebound the reason was that price is near to the march 2022 low now this march 2022 low was because of broadly a drop in the shanghai composite uh, that day it dropped about five percent because of the outlook in china was really very bearish now hang Seng tech of course dropped uh, in sympathy as well now overall what i'm trying to express here is that hang Seng tech is still in a downtrend but probably it's at a very strong support level technically and of course uh, if you are looking for longer term based investment for investors who want to say that perhaps the chinese stocks or those that's listed in hong kong especially the tech stocks they are under value, then you might want to look into Hang Seng Tech from the technical point of view because right now it is really at a very strong support level technically. Now, last thing I want to share is I'm just going to draw in this Fibonacci retracement here. From the low of October 2022 to the high, you find that Hang Seng Tech is near to the 62% to 76% region. This means that price overall had corrected about 60 to 70%. If you compare to someone who bought at the high here, which is, was about 4,800 during early 2023, then right now you are looking at and a steep discount from the high of this price here. If I remove all the jargon, what I'm trying to say is that Hang Seng Tech right now is still in a downtrend. But investors, if you are looking for some value in a market that's deeply sold down for a few years, then perhaps you want to explore into Hang Seng Tech for some mid to long term investment. Again, investment comes with risk, so it's important to evaluate your risk. Now, if you do not want to expose in Hong Kong dollar because you are in Singapore and you don't want to change your Sing dollar into Hong Kong dollar, then in Singapore exchange that's listed the Hang Seng Tech ETF exchange traded funds. You could just purchase it in the normal broker account. You'd be surprised that Hang Seng Tech is one of the top volume that's being purchased by Singapore investors using SRS. Let's take a look at some statistics. A look at the statistic from SGX, the top 10 ETF traded by SRS investors between Jan and October 2023 and one of them would be Lion OCBC Securities, Hang Seng Tech ETF. Now the code for the SGD thicker is HST and for the USD thicker is HSS. Let's take a look at the fat sheet of Lion OCBC Hang Seng Tech ETF. It consists of 30 largest tech companies listed in Hong Kong and you know these are the usual names Xiaomi, Tencent, Li Auto, Kuai Shou. Now very important is that if you look down here then the subscription mode can be in cash and it can be in SRS. In terms of the industry allocation, what you are really investing in would be really the tech stocks because it consists mostly of the tech stocks or any consumer stocks that's involved in tech. 
Let's take a look at some important statistics when you're investing into ETF. First thing to compare would be the fund size. For OCBC, it's the smallest in terms of fund size, but as far as what I'm concerned, the amount in the fund size is still looking very healthy. Then the next thing I look for will be the expense ratio and the management fee. So OCBC is neither the highest nor the lowest as well, it's in the mid-range. Well, the benefit I think strongest for Singapore investors is that you do not need to convert your Sing dollar into Hong Kong dollar. Hashtag is still very much in a downtrend coming technically into a strong level and one of the stronger levels that I've seen of course then there is a chance that it might still move down if you look at the price level right now as compared to early 2023 then it has fallen steeply so in this case here I'm thinking that even as investors myself then I'm looking at some mid to long-term investments of course whatever that I'm gonna say it's not financial advice it's purely for educational purpose and do evaluate whether uh, Hang Seng Tech is something that you're looking for in terms of your portfolio all right i come to the end of my video if you would like me to cover any other videos do let me know and uh well i just did also another video on singapore reads as a follow-up because uh the last year i did a video on singapore reads in november 2023 and that moved really very well um well uh if you are interested for me to cover any other topics do remember to leave a remark in the comment section and i'll be happy to talk about it all right, and remember to click the subscribe button.